Let's talk about the action of different types of firearms or the actions of different types of firearms. And we've all heard the terms single shot, manually operated lever action, bolt action, full auto, semi-auto, but what does all that mean? And how can we simplify it? Well, for the purposes of this segment, let's break down the operating systems into these. Single action or manually operated firearms, semi-automatic, and fully automatic. The gun in my hand here is a single shot, 20 gauge shotgun. Single shot meaning that in order to fire this weapon, I have to open the action, there's no magazine, it just holds one round. I take that round, I insert, I close it, cock the hammer back, single shot. The next type of firearm action we'll talk about be manually operated, such as this pump action shotgun or a lever action rifle, bolt action rifle. But the bottom line is, is it requires you to do something before you can fire the gun. Now it has an internal magazine, but it requires us to do some sort of action in order to shoot the gun. It doesn't do it for us. In this case, this is a Remington 870 Wingmaster. I run the bolt forward, I insert, in this case, two rounds of 12 gauge. Now to load the gun, pump it, off safety, and fire. I continue to press the trigger, nothing happens. And the reason is, I first have to manually operate the gun to reload the gun. This is a great example of a manually operated firearm. Another type of manually operated firearm is the bolt action rifle as mentioned previously, such as this Remington 700 PSS. To operate this gun, draw the bolt to the rear, insert rounds of ammunition into the internal magazine. In this case, I'm just putting two in. Close the bolt, weapon is in a fire condition. Remember, I have to manually operate the gun. Pressing the trigger multiple times will do nothing. I have to pull the, pull the bolt up and back, fresh round in. Another example of a manually operated firearm. There's a lot of confusion between fully automatic firearms and semi-automatic firearms. Oftentimes, semi-automatic firearms look an awful lot like their fully automatic counterparts, military weapons and things like that. In this case, I'm holding a Colt Model 6920 law enforcement carbine. This is a semi-automatic firearm. Semi-automatic meaning that I get one round fired for one trigger press, but that the gun cycles the next round automatically for me. So I don't have to pull a bolt back or pump a pump action or something like that. The gun does that stuff for me. I'm gonna place the gun in a condition to fire and I will fire. Notice, I press the trigger once, I get one shot. I release the trigger, it resets. I press the trigger again, I get a second shot. Fully automatic firearms, such as this H&K MP5, will fire multiple rounds as the trigger is pulled until the trigger is released, it runs out of ammo, or it jams. To fire a fully automatic firearm, we first make sure the bolt is to the rear in this case. Insert a magazine. release the bolt to load the weapon, set the selector lever to fully automatic, and fire the weapon. Okay. 
you'll notice one trigger pull gave me a whole bunch of rounds. Fully automatic. 